The halls of the Tulalip Heritage High School are often quite empty, students not even learning in the classrooms, and that's the way the staff here likes it. Instead of being in the classrooms, they're out learning in the community. Is that one of the questions you were looking at or no? How students learn is just as important as what students learn at Marysville's Tulalip Heritage High School. Students work to find what they're passionate about and it doesn't mean what's your career, it's what, what are you passionate about. Are you taking tribal law? No. I have leadership, native design, shoot seed, algebra. Gone are the textbooks, exams, and grading standards used in high schools forever, replaced with conversations about what inspires students and makes them interested in learning. Their curriculum is then built around that. Students take the lead and are fully invested in their education. It's really easier to process something that I actually want to know and I'm interested about and chose to do. It kind of helps me work on like my personal goals and my school goals and like it's actually really fun. Students spend three days a week in class and the rest pursuing that passion in the community through independent projects or internships. If students are interested in marine biology, for example, they'll work at the tribal fishery. It all culminates in a presentation at the end of the year where students prove their mastery of the subject matter. The goal is to get away from the traditional European way of learning developed by white people and forced upon native students for generations. Principal Nathan Plummer calls it decolonizing the classroom. What we're getting away from is this idea of there's one right answer, it's in the back of the book, don't look at it and don't talk to anybody because that's called cheating, but the rest of the world considers that to be using resources and collaboration. And so we're really trying to break those walls down. The new curriculum is only in its third month, but staff here say that they're already seeing changes in attitudes and performance. On the Tulalip Reservation, Eric Wilkinson, King 5 News.